Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we turn the corner with Footy's content and the Footy's promo in FIFA 23, finally getting some of the best cards released back into packs. And hopefully that's going to make SBCs a lot easier to complete and a lot easier to get done for cheaper on this game. That's one of the biggest parts of content today, that best of batch number three. We're going to talk at length about that and how EA actually confirmed that, but also talk about what Footy's cards are going to be in packs. And of course, that Zinedine Zidane cover star icon we're hoping to see today as an SBC. If you're excited for it today, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start by looking at yesterday's content really quick because there was a few things that went on yesterday, especially in objectives. EA made a pretty crazy mistake. Now, first of all, we finally found that 99 overall passing card that we voted on on EA's Instagram, and it was Quinton Timber who they chose to release as the SBC player. We were hoping for maybe like a nine goal on, that'd be a great card. Quentin Timber is who we get. It feels like he had an SBC not too long ago. I think it was in Future Stars where you had the position change one where you could get like a center defensive mid or a center back version. But nonetheless, he's got another SBC. It is cheap, but I think for most people, this just doesn't hit different. It's not that great of a card, that massive of a player, unless you are building an Eredivisie side or a Dutch team. Then, of course, he does go straight in, and at least he's cheap. So if you want to get him done, you can. One squad, easy done there we also had marquee matchups which is a staple of thursday content but uh of course there's xp for marquee matchups as well in the footies week five and this is where ea made a mistake yesterday so in here right every single week we've had the harry kane the lacazette the caviche last week where you get the card you have to go win eight score in ten it's the same objectives that we have had for the past five weeks in this game but yesterday ea messed up they gave us fantasy foot heroes morientes as the free card for playing six, ma six matches. But then if you look at the description for winning eight or scoring in 10 games, you will see it says fantasy foot Sanchez. And who could that be? Because always they've given us the free card of who we've had to use for the objectives. If you actually take a look at Morientes's card and his name, Fernando Morientes Sanchez is his name. This is a terrible mistake by EA, mislabeling these lower two objectives so that you really think that it's Alexis Sanchez and not Morientes, right? So both of these cards went extinct on the market yesterday as people saw the win eight and score in 10 saying Fantasy Foot Sanchez and instantly thinking of this card. This card went from 35,000 coins to extinct at 75k and once people realized what had happened he started to drop back down and he's almost back down under 40,000 coins at this range but still absolutely crazy that that kind of mistake happened yesterday on this game Morientes is almost max price at 47k of course you don't have to buy this card you can obviously get it for free but that's just like a simple mistake a simple labeling mistake from ea fantasy foot sanchez like yeah i thought it was alexis sanchez as well like why does that not say all the other ones have said the exact same name that was given out. Fantasy Foot Heroes Morientes. Like, do these things happen on purpose? It makes you ask the question at least a little bit because that's just such a crazy um, mistake that EA has made yesterday. Now, speaking of XP, moving on a little bit more. Vinny and Level 41. Level 40 and 41 are now claimable if you've been getting all the XP, grinding. A lot of people are like, Nate, Level 41? What's that dollar kit? Where's that at? That is level 41. You get the kit here after getting Vinny. I don't know many people that are taking the player pick. You're crazy if you do, because Vinny is just an insane card for sure. But this dollar kit is what you use to get the dollar kit objective and the level 41 bonus milestone objectives completed. So if you're not sure where that is, that is where the dollar kit is. Now, let's turn our focus into today. Probably the biggest week of footies just yet. We've had four weeks of footies with four different teams of cards and packs. And of course, two different best of batches. Now, EA actually just confirmed for today that there is a best of batch three, and they confirmed it with some pack code that was added not too long ago. Right here, it says a footies rerun bundle pack containing five players 90 or higher from a footies re-release batch three. There, there it is confirmed. We kind of knew that it was coming, right? That's not a surprise. Now, what we really want to see out of this is what is going to be inside of this? A 90 plus rating in this pack and a 92 plus rating in this other best of re-release uh, for batch three pack, uh, 92 or higher. It makes me feel like there's going to be team of the seasons in here. And that's what we need. Honestly, the team of the seasons back in packs 
is what we've been wanting and it's what we've been needing because that is going to make SBCs and just make life on FIFA so much better and so much easier, especially in this end game stages. Now, here's my question. Best of batch one had 100 players. Best of batch two has 150 players. Will, with all the team of the season cards that could be re-released today, will EA increase batch three's size to 200 players i think it's very possible that they will and that would allow them to put a bunch of team of the season cards at packs i'm not expecting every single team of the season card from the community tots and air Divisie, all the lower leagues all the way until uh, the rest of the world tots i don't expect every single tots card to be in packs but i think it's very very possible that 50 60 70 maybe even 100 team of the seasons could be in packs today ranging from those top tier cards to lower tier fodder items now of course we'd hope that shapeshifters are in packs as well guys like van dyke guys like even some of the icons like pele rykard ben percy it would be great to have some of these icons in packs today as well as the regular shapeshifters cards as a part of batch three i think that's very likely my biggest question or one of my questions with batch three is are level ups going to be included because this promo yes cards were in packs but also it was all tied to the objectives right and yes this 98 kdb is the highest rated version that's on the market in this game that you can get now because the objective has gone away will they release level ups in packs today as well i feel like it's a slight chance that they do but maybe they do who knows i mean those are cards that are on the market so i think it is possible but there's no guarantee with that now we know we're getting a best of batch three it just kind of comes down to how ea break it up but we're really expecting those tots cards today and i think it's going to happen it seems realistic and there's not many other promo cards that could be re-released besides shapeshifters team of the seasons uh because that's kind of where we're at in this stage of the re-released cards now the next big question is What's going to happen with footies cards, guys? What's going to happen with the first four teams of footies that we have had? Are we going to get more brand new footies re-released today? More 99 rated cards like a Jude, maybe a, a Holland 99 rated footies? Or is EA going to start re-releasing the footies cards back into packs? If I had a say in the matter, which I don't at all, and let me know if, what you guys would want down in the comments, but I personally would like to have team one, two, three, and four re-released back into packs. Maybe they don't re-release all four teams of footies cards back in at once, but maybe it's team one and two today or teams one and three. And then next week they do three and four or two and four, depending on how they want to split it up. I think that would be a good mix of having more footies cards in packs since those teams are pretty small and a best of in packs with a lot of players, including team of the seasons. That would make this week or this next two weeks of footies a lot more hype and a lot more exciting if those are released now of course like we talk about for all cards at all times if cards get re-released back into packs you guys know what happens to the prices they go down 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 because they just get supplied they get put back into packs so people sell them because they know the price is going to drop and at the same time they're getting supplied so the prices drop again last word of warning if you have some of the top tier team of the seasons like i don't know maybe a rashford tots card tradable still in your team just be careful with some of these players maybe be careful if you have a shapeshifters in your team and then of course footies as well it's a biggest the biggest question mark today is with the footies we, we expect tots cards to get re-released but how will ea do the footies that we're not sure of now with packs kind of covered there, talking through the best of it and the footies cards and a lot of the unsureness with that let's talk about sbcs we do know one sbc that is coming today and that's this big man right here, Zinedine Zidane. Is it going to be 99 rated or is it going to be 98? That's the question that we are left with. But we know he's getting an SBC and it's most likely going to be today. Ronaldinho was on a Friday. Rooney, Roberto Carlos. I expect this SBC to be today. A lot of other people do as well. The next question is, what's it going to cost? It's definitely not going to be cheap. I'm setting my guess at 25 squads to complete for the Zidane. Maybe somewhere around 3 million coins. But depending on the rating and depending on, of course, EA knowing what cards they're re-releasing back into packs, would they make Zidane super cheap with all the TOTS cards and higher rated fodder that's going to be available in packs? Probably not. It's going to be most likely the easiest week to craft a Zidane or even to work on the Ronaldinho SBC if you've been working on that one or even Wayne Rooney just because of all the cards that are going to be in packs like Team of the Seasons and all of the squads like inside of Ronaldinho that require Team of the Season cards, right? There's a lot of different squads in here that do. And I think that's going to make the craft easier. EA could require more squads or just 
more fodder in general to get an SBC like that done because they know what they're doing to the market and they're knowing how much fodder is going to be accessible to all of us this week. So that's a big SBC that we're hoping for today. I think there's also a possibility for just a regular footies player SBC, albeit a premium or just a regular. We had Kunde right last week or two weeks ago. We had Marcus Urente last Friday. That was an absolutely crazy SBC that so many people have done an absolutely insane card. But a lot of these SBCs are going away. Hyunmin's son is expiring. Uh, the the um, the Arente we just looked at is expiring. Joe Cole, Kewel, and Cahill all expiring. It might be a big day of content today, guys, because a lot of these SBCs are going out of the way, and maybe that's because new ones are coming in and they have to make room in the SBC section for them. So that's a the biggest question I have today is what all SBCs are we going to be getting? Now, of course, we know we're getting the refresh of the 85 times 10, 87 plus player pick, stuff like that. The only SBCs that are going away today are the 90 plus tots, shapeshifters, or footies player pick, and the footies best of batch two player pick, which this is definitely going to be replaced with the footies best of batch three. And I would not be surprised if there's another player pick SBC that drops today as well. It's all about SBCs and footies, and they're going to give us plenty of opportunities to try to send our coins and our clubs to pack these big time cards that are in packs so that's kind of the biggest SBC content it's going to be refreshing today and of course if we talk about the market and we talk about the fodder aspect of this a little bit we're all going to need fodder today to do whatever SBCs we're interested in doing I'll take a 91 Ben Rama from that 87 plus player pick that we just crafted um, we're all going to need fodder let's look at the fodder market right because with yesterday's content not being that insane what, of course, did we see? We saw Team of the Season cards dropping a little bit. They're now down towards about 31, 32,000 coins. And Team of the Week cards as well hit the lowest that they have been in a couple of weeks. These cards were 18, 19,000 coins like they are right now. Very, very low. When I mean, a lot of these Team of the Week cards were 27, 28K just earlier this last week. They are down big. I think a lot of these cards are down a lot because with Team of the Seasons expected to be re-released today, that's making people think, wow, these TOTS cards are going to drop down a lot in price, and then that's going to just drag a lot of the fodder market down with it. I think that is very possible, but also at the same time, there's still a lot of demand for these cards. I could see it going a number of different ways today. At content drop, I do expect to see some cards spiking in value, whether it be Team of the Seasons, team of the weeks or just maybe even some gold fodder i would definitely expect some prices to spike at content today whether it be the low tier 83s 84s 85s depending on what sbcs they put out and then potentially seeing some drops like we normally do in the later friday night time frame so if you have fodder today i would say if i have team of the season fodder or if i'm looking to buy team of the season fodder i would wait for content today because there's also a lot of saved up packs that's one of the biggest things that's going to impact the market today is People have been saving 85 times 10s, rivals rewards, foot champs rewards, 87 plus player picks. I mean, a lot of you guys, as we were talking about it in the streams, have been saving some of your 85 10s because you know that better cards are coming into packs. And that means you want to save your packs to try to get the best chance of packing something insane. A lot of these store packs are going away today as well. There's not going to be a ton of tradable supply. But if a lot of people are opening 85 10s and other saved up packs, that's going to mean they're going to be going to the market buying team of the week, team of the season cards potentially, or just fodder in general to go complete other player SBCs, work on Zidane, do the 93 plus player pick, the icon player picks, 85 times 10s, all of the crazy SBCs that are out right now. That's why I think there could be a really solid spike on fodder today at the content drop time. But I would honestly wait to see where prices move early in the day today on Friday as people might be starting to play weekend league. I doubt they're opening their packs before content. Most people would probably save them, but there could be some prices dropping, especially on team leagues and team of the seasons as they're probably expected to drop later on this weekend. Uh, people selling those cards before content today. So definitely watch out for that. There's going to be fluctuations there. Probably going to be the best place to make coins on the game today. And then of course, like we mentioned, if footies cards get re-released, they're going to be dropping fast in value. And then just keep an eye on some other cards. Like remember last week, um, we had the Urente. So what went up a lot in price? Captavia, a footies hero card from La Liga. He went up a lot. Um, and then you had a huge crash on prices for like Carvajal and other players who were replaced by the Urente that came out. So same thing goes for today. If we get an insane player SBC from a certain league, a certain position, watch players in that same league and same position to drop. But then maybe links to that player 
could be going up as well. It's going to be a big time day of content today. I'm excited to open some packs, hopefully pack some footies cards. I would love to see 99 Messi and 99 Ronaldo back in packs at the same time to have an opportunity to pack these footies cards once again. I can't just see them releasing more and more footies in packs. It would just be like, when is it going to end? They've already released so many great cards. I'd be careful with these footies cards today. I think they might be re-released and watch those prices today as well. There's going to be a lot of movement and a lot of panic, but it's a big promo Friday today with everything going on specifically for how SBCs might be so much easier to complete if TOTS cards are back in packs. And that's what we're hoping for. If you're excited for the content, today, drop a thumbs up on the video. Once again, subscribe down below if you are new and comment down below what you're excited for most today. The footies cards, the best of, or is it that Zidane cover star SBC? Let me know down in the comments. We'll be live streaming it all today live on Twitch. That link is in the description if you want to check us out there. I'll see you guys there in the stream today. It's been Nate's Put Account. Thanks for tuning in today. Peace.